Now let's take a look at the components that are used for the manual calibration of the diffusion or the Ventus Pro Series instrument. The first thing that we have is the calibration cup. Now the calibration cups from the original Ventus MX4 family are compatible. Remember that you can continue to use those accessories with the Ventus Pro Series. Ensure that the calibration cup is placed securely on top of the sensor area. This ensures that the gas passes properly. The next piece that we're going to look at is the tubing. Using either the 3 16 or 8 inch diameter tubing, connect it to the calibration cup and ensure that it's seated properly. Finally, we have the cylinder and our regulator. The regulator is a standard half liter per minute and it's a constant flow so that when you open up that valve, it will continuously flow. Now, whenever it comes time to calibrate, you don't need to open it all the way. Just ensure that you've got enough flow that gets that gas passing over top of the sensors. It'll begin the calibration process then. We're going to connect our tubing to our regulator. And now we'll begin the zero process. We're going to advance using the left button to the zero menu. And once we're there, we're going to press enter or the right button to execute the zero function. When the zero process happens, it's setting the baseline for the toxic sensors and it's also setting the baseline for the LEL. This ensures that you've got a clean environment and good levels. It's also calibrating the oxygen sensor at the same time. When the instrument finishes, it'll beep and give you the blue light acknowledging that it's done. Press the left button and you're ready to begin your calibration. We place the cup on top, we press the enter button or the right button to begin the calibration and apply the gas. As gas is applied, the instrument recognizes it, you'll see the clock flashing in the status bar, and you'll begin to get the readings for your calibration. Now, as each of the sensors calibrates, you're going to see those levels rising, and it's going to show you the span reserve percentage for each of the sensors. Remember that the O2 sensor was already calibrated during the fresh air zero process, so you're not going to see any information for the O2 sensor at this time. The LEL, the carbon monoxide, and H2S in this instance are giving me readings. When the instrument finally finishes the calibration, it will again give me those indications of a light and an alarm letting me know that the calibration is finished. Once the calibration is finished, secure the valve on your regulator, remove the calibration cup, the instrument will go into an alarm condition as the gases diffuse. You'll notice it changes from a high or a fast alarm to a low alarm and then eventually clears when it goes below that last threshold. The gas will continue to dissipate until all of your sensor readings go back to zero and your oxygen returns to 20.9.